Pakinggan natin ang testimonya at pag-alala ng founding artistic director ng BUB, mentor at kaibigan, Professor Emeritus Tony Mabesa. My dearest Archie, uh, last night while I was sleeping through the playbills of Dulang UP, now yellowing with antiquity, I ran across the 1983 program of the twin bill Hedda Gabler and a doll's house with a beautiful Susan Valdez on the cover. My God, Archie, this was your thesis production in costume design. That was 24 years ago. The two hips and plays were done and repertoire, and you worked with a millionaire Dia set designer, Ray Paglio of the UP concert fame as music composer, Dennis Marasigan as lighting designer, and yours truly as your director and thesis advisor. More importantly, your dearest mother, or Mom Jay, as she was fondly called by all, was a featured actor in the two plays, A Doll's House and Heather Gunn. Earlier in 1982, I challenged you, you who was one of the brightest and most talented students in the theater arts program, to design costumes for the latest play by Boy Noriega, Juan Luna that included in the cast, among others, Koji Pasqua, Susan Africa, Sonia Valenciano, Bart Lingona, and Lauren Ligamina. So, Oji, from the time on, you had an enviable 25-year career in the theater, not only as designer of costumes and settings, but as an actor and director. You have worked with all the major theater groups in the country. Teatro Filipino, Berta, Repertory Philippines, Tanghalan Filipino, Bulwagang Gantimpala, UP Repertory, and of course your home company, Tulang UP. Not, no actor, not surpri surprisingly, Oji, you are certainly one of the country's finest actors. With me, you did a sadistic gut band in Tennessee Williams, Camino Real, the lecturers, Padre Camora in Floyd Quintos El Filiary Dogs, the loyal and trusted family retainer in Elsa Coscorellas in my father's house, and the fabulous Countess in Claire Booth Lose the Women and En Travesti No Less, because no one beat you as a drag queen. <laughs> So all your performances with other directors enliven the theatrical scene. Through two decades and a half as a theater artist and practitioner, your range was impressive and daring, from plot to the braggart soldier, to view the alegre, Hermógenes, El Hermógenes Ilagan's Filipino version of the rustic Vite, to the Severino Montano classics, Sheridan's 18th century, uh, rap romp, the American melodramas and works of Filipino playwrights and more. And you love teaching and the world of the academe. You gave up working on the successful TV show Sick of Black News to return to UP. And you could have gone abroad and worked there and lived there if you so desired and wished it. After all, you were born in Ann Arbor, Michigan. <laughs> but you stuck it out here, probably because you needed the sustenance of the native soil in the pursuit of your art and muses. But above all, to live and do theater here in the country that you love so much. Well, Archie, Things will not be the same without you. But you will always be a part of the theatrical tradition of UP and of Philippine theater. As a symbolic gesture, in 
In behalf of all your colleagues, Arch, in the theater, we'd like to scatter some of your ashes in this theater, which you serve so well and so brilliantly, and that you'll always be a part of it. Good night, sweet friends. May the flight of angels sing thee to thy rest. The rest is silent.